Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Sayana Bernal. Um, um, I'm going to talk about the survey in, in a cathedral here in Mexico. Um, we are here. And it's in the state of Yucatan, in the in the capital of that state. Uh, it's Merida. In the downtown, um, we have the cathedral. And well, this is the cathedral. It's important because it was the first cathedral where it was start to build. Um, after the conquest. And what we need a survey there? Well, in 2015, um, professor of the university um, of, the, of that state found um, a sketch from the cathedral. Maybe it's the oldest um, map of that. Um, don't have a relation about the um, uh, it's it's a um, it's a it's a famil familiar problem, but uh, we we have a lot of information right now um, because have the names of the of the owners of that spaces in that time um, the people you buy buy that the space uh, for bureaus so the that professor was very interesting so he called us and we are to um i'm a student but um in the university the national university we have a archaeological laboratory um he he asks um help because um if it's real that information um, at at this moment we don't know where are building where are the graves of the conquest people of Merida and that it's very weird because we don't have information about that so this is the only document that mentioned the names of the families so what we we have we have the some names and these names um cover relations um uh, with with the conquest people so we we can we can dig but we can use the gpr um this is inside the the cathedral and we only can use the gpr for the noise because it's in our your we can we can use the electrical or magnetic methods um, we have a lot of noise there but the GPR works good so the, um, we have the the yes I uh, you can hear me Yes, we can hear you fine. It's Ayana. Okay. Um, um, okay, the survey was with the uh, antenna of 40, the 400 megahertz. And the only information what we have, it's a, it's a well uh, close to the, the entrance of the cathedral. And we know the stratigraphy, um, so we make the calibration of the GPR, and we we can estimate the how deep is we can find the bedrock. It's very close, and we know we have a prehispanic colonial and urban um, remnants in only one one meter and half, and sometimes two two meters. So it's a lot of information in a short um, tip. This is inside the cathedral. This is a bird view. And this is the grid of the survey. Um, we try to make um, 
a very close um, lines between each other uh, for high resolution. Um, this is the, the main, um, because there is the information of the sketch. And this is the sketch area. So we divide in three parts, the north side, the presbytery, and the south side. The north is in and, and this way. And this is the amplitude map that we had after the process and after um, and after the, the check all the data. And we we can find the that was the historical professor once, but um, because he was thinking about the, a big chapel, but we we find only in some spaces, not in all of them, things like that, a small um, grapes. It's uh, half meter deep, and um, even in these parts with that name. But we can we can know um, about in some spaces uh, we have information and others no. But uh, the anomaly it's smaller than the, they think. In the presbytery part, uh, we found something interesting because it's a big anomaly, and we have the information was um, creep. Um, of the with the remains of the Fray Juan de Izquierdo in 62. So well, that could be a, a good information, but in the in the sketch don't have a doesn't have a, a name in that because it was before that information. And we keep like that. We can suppose some some names. Um, reference to the croquis, the um, sketch, but um, it's only because the anomaly, it's have a, a relation with the, the position of the, of the name in the sketch. Um, that's it, all the information that we can have, give to the professor, but, um, by the other hand, we have the information for the chapel of the Santo Cristo de las Ampollas that it's, it's we know because um, we have the location of that, but we can open. And this is interesting exercise for me because um, I was working in the 3D model. Um, and yeah, we can see the, the rainforest in the old part and then uh, we can see the chapel. Um, we have a good uh, um, geometry uh, estimation because we have almost one meter and a half of high um, and it's almost, uh, it's very close to the real um, measure. It's in this part. Um, then in this, we have exactly in the middle of the cathedral uh, anomaly, um, but it's very deep. Um, it was common the, the, the church was building over the pre-Hispanic structure. So it's possible that, but then this is bigger than a, a creep. Um, and a different other chapel. So we have to, to check that. Um, it's a discussion. <laughs> um, and we have another, another on anomalies. Um, in the church, it was a church, uh, old church. In, in in another part of the cathedral and that's maybe it's a remnant of materials but it's a colonial materials um, 
uh, and we can know for the for the level uh, we have some information about in the beginning the church was here and then was moving to the presbytery and then was building in the up part um, and finally we find some important about the geology it's the karst anomaly it's common because the limestone is very close to the surf the surface and um, in Yucatan we it's well know the cenotes and we have a lot of cars um, in 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 everywhere but um, it's uh, this could be um, a cars um, anomaly it's in the it's, it's near to the entrance to the to the cathedral and finally this is the theme um it's all <laughs> thank you do you have any question thank you very much it's Ayana. um does anybody have any questions waiting to see if anybody's hand goes up. Um, in the meantime then, it's Ayana, can, I, I kind of have um, an observation more than a question really. I think it's fascinating that you've got that map with the, the names on it because I've done work in historic churches and cemeteries before uh, with, with um, similar methods, but not been able to put names to any of the possible burials that we'd found. Um, so that's fantastic that that resource exists um, to locate those family plots within the cathedral. Yeah, uh, thank you. You don't, yeah, you don't normally get to know the names of the people you found. Um, the other question uh, I've got, oh, here we go, Adam wants to ask something. I will let him take over. Uh, yeah, thanks, it's Ayanna. Um, it's really cool as well that you got to effectively like ground truth one of your responses over over a known crypt. Um, I was wondering if uh, if there was a um, chance to resurvey with with a different radar system, so you could test out over that known crypt. You could test out the performance of higher or lower frequencies at all. Um, I I. We only have two two instruments with GPR. Um, we 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 have the well. We we in this moment in that moment we only had two, and was was the two two thousand uh, megahertz, and we only can can make. Um, um, I think 50 centimeters and was for mm -hmm. locate um, um, in the in the in the north side in this part actually, but we don't have a good results because the problem here it's the people after eight, 18th century start to start to year out. Um, family in the in the in the in the near surface mm -hmm. in the first 13 centimeters so what we see that with this uh, antenna but i don't know i i could could be great <laughs> if we have a uh, uh, two frequency them or um um but it's that we have <laughs> Right. Yeah, 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 you can only do what, what you can do, but uh, no, great, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm sorry for my English, I'm, um, and I'm nervous. And, uh... <laughs> Not at all, it, it was absolutely fantastic, and I, I would say that um, I'm, I'm always really in awe of people who present their research in their you know, non native language, and I think that we can bring in uh, so many people from um, kind of the international community into this meeting is uh, is really great so uh, thanks very much for your contribution thank you so much and congratulations for your event 
Uh, it's fantastic. <laughs> I I send a big hug for everybody. Thank you very oh, much. Thank you very much.